Massachusetts State Police is facing a critical staffing short shortage, so much so that 46 veteran troopers are being pulled from the specialty units and are temporarily reassigned to help patrol the streets. Our next guest partly blames anti-police sentiment, but also says there's a bigger problem at hand. Sergeant Mike Shervin is a 25-year veteran of the Massachusetts State Police and president of the State's Police Association. He joins us now. Sergeant, you say this is the first time that you've seen anything like this. That's correct. In my 25-year career, I've yet to see this. What, what, what do you think is leading toward this, 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 this sign of anti-police rhetoric, the fact that you don't have people that want to even do the job? Well, I think that that's just one component of this. That's more of a recruitment issue as far as a retention issue. We have uh, multiple classes, um, our recruit training troops, that have come to their, their maximum time uh, to retire. So as they approach their 25 and 30 year uh, windows, they are stepping down and uh, looking for other careers. What is concerning to, to me and to members of my association is that we're losing, for the first time that I can recall, members to other departments. Uh, traditionally, we would see folks leave for a federal agency, whether it be the FBI, the ATF, you would occasionally see that. What we're starting to see is a trend of uh, troopers leaving to become a municipal uh, police officer. Uh, we had one just recently leave to become a sheriff in, uh, in Florida. And uh, that's a direct uh, you know, attribution to the uh, removal of some incentives. They're just not as incentivized as some of these municipal departments. Uh, several years ago, we lost uh, the, the Quinn bill. And it, it, it makes it hard to recruit if you have a 25% less stipend over some of these cities and towns that we're competing against for qualified recruits. So, Sergeant, can you tell me about these specialty units? How risky is it? having them leave those units to go back on the streets? Well, it, it, it's hard to identify the secondary and tertiary effects here. I, what's going to happen is you're going to see a reduction in the staffing levels at our district attorney's office, our fire marshal's office, our uh, attorney general's office. And by statute in Mass, the state troopers are assigned to the DA's office to investigate unattended deaths to include homicides. Uh, we won't know until the end of this year what type of a caseload increase our troopers will be facing. Uh, it is hard to identify today, but I think we can all agree that we are going to see an uptick in caseload, and I just hope that that doesn't reduce our outstanding number. We're, we're currently running at an 85 to 90 percent uh, solve and conviction rate. It's one of the highest uh, numbers or percentages in the country for uh, homicide investigations. Sergeant, simply put, what does it mean when you have less officers on the street? It, it means quite a bit. It means that you're sending less uh, first responders to an incident. It re, it, the other thing here is officer wellness. Yeah. The inability for our troopers to get time off. Uh, they come in for their 7 to 3.30 shift, and likely they're not going to be going home. They're going to be forced to stay. Uh, we see troopers working three, four days in a row, double shifts, mandated due to the staffing shortfalls. And that's why we understand the nature of what Colonel Mason is doing here, and, and it's, it's to allow our folks to get time off for the, the mental and physical well-being and to be well-rested. You know, I think we all saw the incident recently up in Wakefield with a standoff. Uh, it, we need more troopers on the road. We need rested and well-trained troopers out there. And you guys need increased pay as well, so you can compete with the other uh, municipalities as well. Uh, Sergeant, thank you so much for your service. We're praying for you guys. Thank you. you bet. Thank you.